Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on. For our next deck, which is going to be Grixis Dragons. So basically playing this because I wanted to play some Niv-Mizzet. We haven't played any Niv-Mizzet here in a little while on stream, and this card is incredibly good. And so want to play it in our Grixis shell where we're using Sarkin and Dragon's Horde to try to power out our Niv-Mizzet earlier. Besides Niv, <clears throat> we have Niv's friends along for the ride also with our other dragons. We've got a couple Skargan Hellkites, the new one from Ravnica Allegiance, some Varix Blade Wings, and of course, my boy Nicol Bolas as well. And, you know, since the dragons, uh, they're kind of expensive right there at the top of our curve, so we need other stuff in the first part of our curve. So we just have our normal uh, Grixis interaction. You know, we have counter magic with blue, removal spells with black, and same with discard, removal with red. Um, so that's what we got here, Grixis Dragons. Modest, uh, Modest, Modestin, Modastin. Uh, getting the gifted sub from Santa DJ Poly B. Thank you so much, Santa DJ. So let's get onto the games with Grixis Dragons. Submit. All right, sub battle countdown down to 70. Moda testin. Okay. Mike says, I'm annoyed they ended the season earlier today. I thought it was till midnight tonight. I left at 963, fingers crossed. Ooh, yeah, fingers crossed. Stupid Hellkite. What are you doing over here? But so I just looked, you know, whenever I first look at this, I was like, ah, zero lander. And then wait, these things are actually lands. We can certainly keep this. <laughs> Mulligan, not enough of the 3D cards. We got our Racto sleeve, our steam vents, and our Domri Planeswalker. Hmm. Well, I think we'll just go ahead and take this Niv Mizza here. And I want the land, we'll take that. Are you talking about deck? When you say the overlay, overlay thing, are you talking about Deckmaster? Because Deckmaster is up right now. Should be working. Man, these lands look awesome. Always take the card that kills you. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good uh, life rule there. I think I need to use a spell. So we'll just play the Niv Mizzet. And Niv Mizzet. Can take over the game now. Alright, coil this. And so they have dive down. We just get to cast down in response. Yeah, the game's over. 
Oh man, I'm loving this. I love all these sweet lands now. This looks so nice. All right, so is it Drake's? What do we want to bring in against him? Probably need like Bedevil for Niv Mizzet. And it just kills all the Drakes, and it kills Ral. I don't think I want Ritual of Soot. So that's an easy trade there. Dive down it doesn't seem super necessary. I mean, I guess Lava Coil is going to kill all of our stuff, though. Yeah, I could have Duress Negate, that kind of stuff. But I don't even know. I, I kind of feel like Duress Negate are kind of like a trap, I guess is what I'm saying. Because I think like the creatures are really what's important. Is like their creatures, my creatures, and just actually just having a whole lot of removal. I kind of, I don't think I really want to do anything else, honestly. I think I'm just keeping this. We still have the two negates. We have two dive down. I could see going down another dive down for another negate. Maybe just going four negate. Oh yeah, they had. That's right. They have like wizards retort. All right, let's do this. I'll keep one dive down in. Let's keep this. It's a good hand. Uh, Blood Crypt. niv is, of course, like always, the best card we could draw. We do have the ability uh, to play niv on turn four, you know, if we have Sarkin Resolve. Hey, Magic Harry. And it looks like Sarkin's going to resolve. Not really expecting them to... I fight with... Yes! <laughs> Not really expecting them to kill Sarkin here. You call that a hit? Oh, okay. Uh, there is no peace in defeat. Never mind. They had lightning strike. Expecting to just kind of have like lava coil and stuff, but all right. So we'll still have, won't have Niv the, you know, lots we'll of way to turn on Niv Mizzet now. But with Dragon Sword in. Love it. A backup. Certainly good to have a backup. Target Jaya. I will still target Jaya. Yeah, Model White Angels had the green white duels in it for Shalai, so you could active so we got to activate Shalai.
Man, these 3D cards are awesome. Definitely liking this. Yeah, Niv is kind of messed up good. Alright, we'll have Dragon Sword draw a card, trigger the Niv, kill the Storm Tamer. And good game. Attack. Most likely only on Arena. I don't expect the uh, physical cards going borderless. As well. But it could certainly be something that they look into on just, you know, like making them as uh, like you know some kind of like like promo cards and stuff like that hey we get another pack Let's see if we get 20 gems or anything better most likely 20 gems ooh it's not 20 gems okay so it's most it's probably a wild card ooh Rakdos the showstopper all right, good pack. Got a mythic I needed. Good pack. Need is a relative term. There, but yeah, we actually get a card. All right, one and zero for Grixis Dragons. Once you have all of the cards, then you can start getting gems. Once you have, like, all the rares. Alright, another good hand. Sarkin's let us down this time. As far as the 3D cards go. Esper. All right, what you got over there, opponent? Absorb, Mortify, Negate, Cast Down. Well, that's annoying. They have two things to counter Sarkin next turn, both Absorb and Negate. I guess I take Negate. Now, Absorb. I guess I take Absorb. I'll keep the other Dargan. We got removal for one Dargan right now. Ooh, they tapped out. Okay. We get to resolve. Sarkin. He told I don't need this. I need this. Oh yeah, they didn't even have the two blue for absorb. I don't know why I just I just kind of missed that. Oh yeah, I'm I'm silly. Yeah, that's silly. Oh, definitely need to get rid of that Dragon Skull Summit. That that thing looks ugly. Um. Of course, I'm getting. I I have to ditch the lava coil though. Realistically. I know what I'm doing. Ugh. Uh. I don't really want to play that card. So honestly, what I should be doing here is playing Bolas. Next turn, we play a kicked Blade Wing. That's what I should be doing. 
mean, next turn we can kick kick Blade Wing. They use Mortify. Maybe we can play Bolus and flip Bolus after that. Maybe we can play this so that our Bolus doesn't get Mortified and we can flip it later. Maybe. Not necessarily likely, but maybe. So Bladewing and the token are both legendary. And yeah, Niv, Niv would just get mortified. Might we don't really want that. Power. Now they, for some reason, they didn't make a Dragon Skull Summit 3D card. That's why we have this card. I don't know. They they put an island into their graveyard with Search for Escanta. They could have grabbed that island, but they, they chose not to grab that island the two turns ago. So Bolus plus Thought Erasure or Niv. If we go Bolus and Thought Erasure, they're definitely flipping Asganta. They don't really have anything for us to Thought Erasure away right now. Yeah, I'm just Thought Erasure does. I, like, I don't think that Thought Erasure has basically any value right now, but it will gain value once we have Niv in play. Like, if we untap with Niv, then Thought Erasure is now really good. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Because we get to flip Bolus next turn. And opponent can't just get can't just activate as Kanta and find an answer that kills Bolus and uh, with the amount of mana they have. And of course Bolus is gonna bring back Nev Mizzet. Yeah, so basically how, how powerful the Nicol Bolas transforming is uh, is why I waited on it for it to be last because it's just so good. The multiverse is at my disposal. The dead shall serve me. And this should be game one. So post board, let's bring in Negate, Duress, Disdainful Stroke, Thief of Sanity, maybe Bedevils. Uh, we'll get rid of cast down, coil, and soot. That gives us 63. Hmm. I think Hellkite can go also. So that's 61. May trim a dive down. So I have three Bedevils right now as removal for their Thief of Sanities. Is that enough, or should I just be cutting Dragon's Horde for more removal? Hey, what's up, Eisen F? I'm 
Dragon Sword is pretty good card advantage, though. But... Hmm. Yeah, they could have Lyra. I could certainly see them having Thief of Sanity and maybe Hostage Taker. So I've I've like three bedevils right now as removal for Sanity or Taker. But I could play like two cast downs over two Dragon Sword also. For those cards. Yeah, but yeah, Dragon Sword does have a good card advantage. I think I like the one dive down. Let's go with this. Today's the 31st. This is certainly a hand that can lose. But I, I also don't think it's a mulligan. They're on six. That makes me feel better. But if they have like a, a fast Thief of Sanity with this kind of hand, uh, all of our lands are tap lands, which is the worst part about it. Okay, getting the Mono White Angels up on YouTube right now. What are you doing with all these duresses? That dive down could be a, a cast down, but of course, if cast down was that valuable, then our opponent would just would have just taken it. All right, that one's good. Bell haunt. Belhaunt's going to do some damage. Hey, Hawkeye. Okay. Huh. So they just... Oh, I guess they didn't want to play it because of my negates, I guess? So this card does not help me get to Niv-Mizzet, but it does block their 3-4. Whatever, I want to get to Niv-Mizzet. Alright, one more mana for Niv. There we go. Yeah, okay. We got our Niv. Tilt. That's a major tilt. to see for us. Hmm. That'll just reborn, huh? All 
Alright, we'll take out the dive down for the cast down. Switching downs. Growing up the alphabet from dive to cast. They're both four letter words. All right, King Toll, have a wonderful night. Yeah, 12 hour stream tomorrow, noon to midnight. And we have a few different standard decks to brew, a couple different. Uh, standard X to brew tomorrow. Again, not a mulligan, but same kind of annoyance with all tap lands. Let's start with the Drowned Catacombs. So if we draw either blue or black untapped mana, we'll be able to cast the Thought Erasure. Yeah, noon to midnight Eastern time tomorrow. We're doing a 12-hour stream for hitting a Harry's... Uh, Referral goal over the weekend. The problem with not having any shock lands. Our opponent got to Thought Rager before us. I don't think I play the Dragon's Horde here so that we can have Disdainful Stroke available if they have another Bell Haunt or, you know, whatever. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Uh, I need to pay attention to Auto Tap. I definitely need one of those blue sources open because I was going to shock this in and have. Disdainful Stroke, of course, available afterwards. All right, well. We're still good. This Dragon Sword was not countered, so we're still good. Yeah, now we do, because Horde resolved. But if Horde was countered, we would not have... Stainful Stroke, looking terrible. Not countering these Thought Erasures. But Niv-Mizzet was a great draw. Really hoping they don't have another Eldritch Reborn. Please don't have Eldritch Reborn again. Please don't, please don't. Elvis Reborn is our kryptonite. Okay. We'll take that. We get to cycle. And get the counter on Dragon's Horde. That's a good trade for us. Hmm. I guess I don't have three blue either way. So we're going to have to use the Dragon Sword either way.
Let's see. So they got five in their graveyard right now. So bedeviling the bell hunt would make it so as Kanta may be able to flip. Big, oh good. I was gonna say the big problem with playing the Thieva Sandy there is we we really made their Kaya's Wrath like pretty good, and so that's why I was debating not, not even playing the Thieva Sanity. Yeah, I've seen the the cards that are the leaked cards. I don't um, I don't necessarily care to discuss them too much because you know we don't know if they like there's a good chance that they are the you know card correct cards from the set but we don't really know that they are and wow they found an Elsher born So there we go. Yeah, last last set I did a we did a, a stream before like once we had all the card reviews like the Friday that all the cards were, uh, like that the entire set was was um, previewed. We we took the stream day that day, um, all stream day we we went through every single card, and talked about them and constructed and I gave them a constructed review of A through F. And we did that, and that was a good time and everything, and, you know, put them up on YouTube, broke them down by color. And I will likely be doing the same thing again. I think that was a, a big hit. Of course, some cards, you know, obviously we're just looking at the cards, some of them for the first time. And some of them I had too high, some of them too low. I was too high on, like, Judith and Theater of Horrors. Mortify especially really kept Theater of Horrors down. Uh, t too low on Hydroid Crisis. So casting Dragon's Horde doesn't really allow us to do anything this turn. But I think it's the most important to be able to, you know, double spell next turn, get our mana going. Ooh, this is ugly for us. Real ugly. This is really ugly for us. Um... I guess I have to take Phoenix. If I take Phoenix, they get to play Growth Chamber Guardian next turn. Like, if I take Phoenix and Coil Spellbreaker, and this Growth Chamber Guardian is just going to go crazy. That, that Growth Chamber Guardian is a huge problem. But I think it's the best thing for me to do. That's not so bad. Because Bolas takes a card and, you know, eats one of those removal spells and takes a card. They're all going to eat a removal spell. Evil, you may regret that well, choice. that's going to be pretty annoying as well.
Yeah, I thought I just I thought Krasis was gonna be costing too much mana. Honestly, I was definitely wrong. Yeah, we're playing against Gruel Aggro. An excellent choice. Gruel Warriors, it looks like, I guess. Gonna go down to one. We basically need to draw a ritual of soot next turn, or we're dead, and we're we're likely just dead no matter what. Activating Growth Chamber Guardian here puts us down to one. Hmm. I'll make use of that later. Okay. Not quite dead yet. That would have been nice a lot a lot earlier. But we'll see if they have a haste creature. Alright, they found the haste creature. Ugh. Okay. So this is going to be a tough matchup for us with them having all these Kral Harpooners, Lava Coils, Collision Colossus. These are all cards that are very efficient at killing my creatures. And I don't I don't like it one bit. So let's get these duresses in. Ritual of Soots. Not you, Thief of Sandy. But Devil, yes. Cryler Canarium is I want Blade Wing out, Negate out. And I'd like dress and dive down to protect my creatures. Trim a Sarkin. I guess I'm playing Cryler Carnarium. There's just not it doesn't kill everything they have. I think they're gonna have Cindervine. I can see that. The problem with Sarkin is Sarkin just gets attacked. Maybe that's not so bad that Sarkin's getting attacked though. Sarkin does really help us be able to get this Niv out, especially with Dive Down. So that's what I'm debating between if I want Cry of the Carnarium or Sarkin. I think I'm going to go with Sarkin. They may also have the two mana, like the, they'll have like Llanowar Elf also for Cry of the Carnarium, and they probably have the two mana creature that has. Like the two mana two two with haste. Like that thing. Hmm. Only Dragon's Horde for black mana. I mean this hand's good if we draw a land, you know, like having Ritual Soot, having Sarka and Dragon's Horde. Like this is a good hand if we draw land. I think it's worth it. Let's try it. It's the very worst we have. And we have Sarkin or Dragon's Horde that we can play on turn three. Like, we can uh, cycle away this Thought Erasure. That's a good land. Do your worst. Fall 
Nicholas told me I should do this. Hey, Duba, we spent a lot of gems for these full arts. Ow. You think you're a warrior? I think we go Thought Erasure Coil to start with. Wow. Double Chain Whirler, double Daredevil. So they can have Daredevil Thought Erasure here to take Niv Mizzet, but then we'll have the second Niv Mizzet. The problem is the next turn they could have. They could have Chain Whirler Coil the next turn. Maybe I should have taken Coil instead of Daredevil. Yeah, actually, maybe I should have taken Coil. Because now if they just go Chain Whirler Coil to kill my other niv it's a, it's a pretty big problem. Then I'm left with nothing. And yeah, and Sarkin will die. We are not in a good spot. Sarkin will die because of Chain Whirler. The damage Chain Whirler deals. I can't even cast this Ritual of Soot. Madness? <laughs> what madness? Oh, that's true. Niv would be able to shoot the Daredevil for the coil. We'd at least draw a card off coil. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah, they would have needed another land to be able to coil Chain Whirler, but I certainly assumed that, you know, like, with a couple of cards, they would have drawn another land, but I guess not. Let us fight! They are coming! So, yeah, I was assuming they had a, another land in their two cards, but last turn they did not. Let's see if they do this time. They do coil my Niv. We'll be able to draw a card and see if we draw something that can interact with this Phoenix, maybe. Strike like you mean it. If they have the land, they take out everything. <laughs> no, they found the land. Oh, wow. They didn't. What? They just chain whirler plus coil? Huh.
Well, that's good for us. So we're going to be able to activate Sarkin to do another point. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going upstairs. Dang. We'll keep the land in hand in case we find another Sarkin that we want to cycle it away. That could have been two Little damage on them. Us. I mean, we get I to attack for six, you. attack for six. So they figured it out this time, but we at least got some. Oh, they have they have hexproof, right? Because it's spellbreaker. All right, they got two chain whirlers. We got nothing. We have two other ritual of sets in the deck. The deck's now finding all these lands. Ritual of set. Well, that keeps us barely alive. Dead. It was kind of unfortunate having to, with our mana situation early, how we didn't have any of the lands early, we had to cycle away the Dragon's Horde uh, and the Ritual of Soot, mostly the, the Ritual of Soot getting rid of that with only having the one Black Source early on. And then, you know, in the late game there, we were just drawing all those lands, and it would have been good to have, like, you know, another Black Source earlier, so we would, could have just kept the Ritual of Soot and had that for later on, but... That's how magic goes sometimes. So that was... So two one-landers in a row. We're going first. Let's mulligan again. The dive down was basically... Not a card. In that other hand. It was basically a five-card hand. All right, mono red. Being on five cards against mono red is usually kind of tough. Yeah, that's true. If I yeah, that's a very fair point. If I would have played Sulfur Falls turn one at that previous game. We would have been able to play Thought Erasure on turn two, and that would have been most likely better for us. I mean, that would have just been, you know, like, everything. Yeah. It would have helped us. Also, I think I should have taken Lava Coil instead of Daredevil. I regret taking the Daredevil. All right, get the bolus here, make them discard a card. It's the kind of thing that, like, I don't really want them to discard a land, because it's like, oh, man, our bolus only hit a land. But then the other thing is if they don't discard a land, that means they have all spells. Them discarding a land means that they could have more lands. Hmm. 
Well then. I think that was the, the biggest thing though from that, that previous game that we didn't do. Well, that, that attack is not a good one. Was that I, I should have taken Lava Coil with a Thought Erasure to protect my Niv-Mizzet. So getting rid of Firebrand, because Firebrand can just hit us for three with the third chapter of Flame of Keld, and we can't stop it. These other creatures we can block, at the very least. We should definitely just be waiting a turn, because this... Like, the third chapter would make both of these four power. They would just be able to shock us for four. Yeah, our opponent just had lethal if they would have just waited. They could have just dealt 12 to us with those other cards. Wait, so this is going to deal 6 damage to me? So I think I decline over 6 damage. Hmm. I kind of want to just take Wizard's Lightning. So I hit them to 15. They put me down to 10. I put them to 10. Was not what I wanted to see. I was definitely hoping for them just playing Phoenix. That was definitely not what I wanted to see. Get rid of the two Lava Runners. Take another two from this Pyromancer, and we're down to four. I think that attack was would have... I mean, they are just playing Phoenix the next turn. I think that was a good attack, of honestly. But obviously how that worked out, I don't believe it was. Another land. Nah. We did. So I definitely want all these negates in. Sarkin is out. Hmm. Kind of want to take out Dragon's Hordes. That's going to make it difficult to cast Niv.
without it. So what if, what if we go with this? Yeah, dress is okay, for sure. I could go with that over Dragon's Horde. And I could go with another Soot over this Bedevil. I don't love Bedevil. But they can certainly have, you know, like a bunch of creatures where we want to set them away. That kind of fills up, fills us up on the four mana slot, though. Maybe I just don't play Bedevil and play another Dragon Sword. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, Baloney Pony. Yeah, we're on like like always. Tomorrow we're doing our noon to noon to twelve, twelve hour noon to midnight, twelve hour stream tomorrow. And then we'll be back to the normal stream time of 3 to 10 Eastern each and every day. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how long I'm streaming tonight. We'll see. I don't know. I'm kind of planning like... You know, usually like 10 like normal, but we'll see. Maybe shorter, maybe longer. Alright, hoping they play something we get to negate here. And if... Again, if y'all have any donation decks that you want to see played, this week is a perfect time to be donating for donation decks. As I'm putting all the donations this week towards uh, the gem packs and then getting more of these cosmetics because they are awesome. Yeah, correct, skinny. Uh, 10 Eastern, that's my normal time of stopping the stream. 60 Swamp Deck? <laughs> Just, there's no well, there's no point in running 60 Swamp Deck, right? So I want Bolas to make them discard a card while I still have a card in hand. And the gates were definitely pretty clutch for our opponent just being really impatient. Casting their Wizard's Lightning on their turn that we got to... Got to get rid of. Um... I mean, our opponent could get back in it with drawing like a, fl a Flame of Keld. More pressure. Let's get a two-turn clock. If I if I cast ritual last turn, our opponent just shoots us for two. And that's it. I'd rather hit the 4-4 four, four down where, sure, our opponent could draw a 3 damage burn spell and 3 damage burn spell the blade wing, you know, like one of these creatures, plus shoot it with Firebrand. But at that point, you know, that's less damage coming at me. We would still have the other 4-4 four, four that's still killing our opponent, and I would feel just fine about that.
So basically playing Cry instead of Ritual is going to gain us two life. Or not. Because, so if I play Ritual, they just shoot me for two. Right. Like that. If I play Cry like that, I thought they were going to shoot one of my dragons for two. And then I would dive down the dragon. And so basically I would be, I was just, you know, not taking the two damage and staying at 12. That play, of course, is a lot worse against our opponent play, drawing a Lava Coil, but, you know, Lava Coil is not killing me. We were in a good spot. <laughs> our, oppo our opponent is certainly not stream sniping for how they were throwing out their their spells into my negates earlier. Certainly not stream sniping. Well, I hate having the two dive downs, but I like the two land lava coil cast down. So, like, that part of our hand is good. The dive downs are terrible. The hell kite is okay. I mean, this is basically a, a four card hand anyway. Let's just go ahead and chip this. I don't, I don't like not having removal, but we have scry and all that kind of stuff. Still have good mana. I like having the, the third land and not just two. The Guildgate package is only available for gems. But I should have got that one. I should have got that before, though. I forgot... That was something that I, did, I didn't even think about with your four-color gates deck. I should have gotten that. So we do need the fourth land, and this, this is a good fourth land to have. It's double black for if we draw Ritual of Soot. The problem with keep... So I want to keep this on top, but the problem with keeping this on top is that we could just have a bunch of lands underneath it, and then we flood out, and, and then, you know, it ends up being a really bad top. If we put it to the bottom, and we have a bunch of spells, that's probably still okay because we need spells anyway so let's go and put it on the bottom it's a risk either way keeping that on top or on bottom because keeping that on top means that you know like if they if our opponent has like a fast draw where we have no removal it's tough for us So we know our opponent's playing like Chain Whirler, Rekindling Phoenix. Some better creatures to be Lava Coiling. Please don't have Phoenix. No, I don't think Visidrix will get a Planeswalker. Take those burn spells. I will take that. Take that two for one trade. I 
I don't know about playing the bolus here, honestly. I was certainly considering not playing that and just having negate here. Because if they draw some burn spell, they do get to kill Bolas because of Flamekeld. But it's kind of weird just not playing our card at all. I'll keep that. Can I get rid of this Cry of the Carnarium now? Ugh. I'd rather have the seventh land. We flip this Bolas. Well, there is seventh land to be able to flip Bolas, but that is going to cost me two life. If I flip Bolas, I'm just ticking up and drawing two. I guess I could minus and get this other, get this 4 4 into play. The problem with minusing is then a burn spell kills my Bolas. Be a beast when I can be a god! Hmm. So basically, we just paid two life to have the, the Bolas Planeswalker because they're both 4 4 flyers. So we paid two life to have this thing that will draw us two extra cards next turn, which help, should help us draw us into more negates. Or life gain cards like Moment of Craving. This is unmatched. And we can get Viachino Pyromancer next turn to deal him a couple damage. Or have a hasty lava runner. Just I always have an answer. There we go. That's a pretty good answer. Glad you always have an answer, Nicol Bolas. That's a pretty good one. Alright, three and one. For Grixis Dragons. Turns out drawing three cards a, a, a turn is quite strong. <laughs> we didn't see we didn't even need the coil for the Phoenix. Like I was gonna be able to just like I would have I would not have been able to attack for as much. Like the coil gave me lethal, but I was planning on just, you know, going moment of craving, cry the carnarium, get it exiled that way, gain two life. Yeah, the card styles are just are just real new here. I, I don't think they went through and, and they didn't do it for every single card in standard for the card style yet. So these are just like the introductory ones. Hey, this is our first hand of all seven having card styles. Yeah, this is a pretty hand. Yeah, must keep. Thought Razor is still maybe my favorite card style. I think it looks so good. It's the, the texture of the clothing and everything. Tranquil Expanse. This is like the opposite of card style. 
<laughs> Tranquil Expanse versus what we have. Oh, uh, that's funny. So I could take Flower. Just Stone Rains them. I do want more land to try to get Nicol Bola, so let's ditch that negate. Yeah, I expect them to eventually do do all the cards. I I can't really imagine why they wouldn't do all the cards. But, you know, that's something for the future. Like, Dra Dragon Skull Summit doesn't have one. That's so annoying. We have this one land that doesn't have one. It's such a waste of a Lava Coil. The, the reason why Lava Coiling this 1-1 one, one is good is because it makes it a lot harder for my opponent to Tribunal. I still can't even do it. I am very glad that while they're on the battlefield, they don't do the circular movement unless you um, put your cursor on it kind of thing. But like while it's on the battlefield, it doesn't. Surprised they got rid of Resplendent Angel over Unbreakable Formation. All right, more lands. Let's get two more lands. Let's flip a bolus. And certainly, if these lands were just sitting there doing the circular motion the whole time while they're on the battlefield, that would that would be really annoying. No, there's not a viable equipment deck. Standard. I don't think you can make one. Get that thing out of here. All right, all right. This isn't the last you put of me. And so that's what I was talking about of like maybe killing this one one earlier. Castdown doesn't have a whole lot of targets in their deck. Well, there's one. We're going to do the same thing. Just kill this Resplendent Angel. We get Ritual of Soot, or we can play Niv, draw two, kill Amara. They still have Thorn Lieutenant. But I don't really see how Thorn Lieutenant's that big a deal. Let's get Niv Mizzet in play. I know what must be done. No, my bolus.
So let's bring in more sweepers. Let's get these other Cryler Carnariums and Ritual of Soots in. And... The Resplendent Angels are pretty surprising in our opponent's deck. In a token deck. Cast Down and Coil, I, I don't love. They don't usually have a lot of great things to, to kill, but they did have Resplendent Angels. I'm going to get rid of the two Cast Down still. Yeah, Lacrash, each time I play the deck, I, yeah, whenever I update decks, I, I update the, the list and, or like I put a new, I put a brand new list in Stream Decker. Um, for it because i because i want the youtube links to have the youtube links link to the deck list that i was playing in that video and not necessarily a, a new deck list sarkin dragon's horde bedevil don't know if they're gonna have like planeswalkers like a johnny and stuff i do like negate Like blade wing and everything. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take out one horde. Double steam vents. That doesn't help us cast this ugly ritual of such or those thought that thought erasure either. Alright, well we got all the mana we need. Okay. So starting off good for us with with our opponent just having a, a slow start, not doing anything for the first couple of turns, because our hand is, of course, very slow. So we like seeing that from the opponent. Knight of Autumn. protecting any of the dragons here. I'm just kind of slamming down dragons, making them have a tribunal kind of thing. Looks like they do. Great turn for that opponent. Maybe we'll draw one of those ritual of sets. That'd be good, right, Hawkeye? Ritual of set. Okay, coil's not bad. Well, certainly not bad. I think we have to get rid of that Resplendent Angel, because another white mana, that Resplendent Angel activating is just, you know, deadly. Which they would have had. So if I would have just played the... If I would have shocked and played Hellkite, they would have been able to make a 6-6 six, six flying lifelinker. Okay. That's the only thing that allows us to stay alive this turn. Now we have five sweepers to draw into here. 
We need one of the five sweepers. Ugh, not a sweeper. Yeah, two cry and three soot we're drawing into there. That Knight of Autumn destroying our Dragon Sword is kind of rough. Maybe I should just be cutting the other two Dragon Swords. Ooh, good hand. It's basically like our hand last mat, like our first hand last time, but we actually have the black mana this time. Uh, for the Thought Erasure, and definitely love having Ritual of Set. Night, Night, March. Alright, Amara down. Take this march. Hmm. Wait, I only have one black source right now? We gotta ditch that. Gotta look for another. I need to keep that black source. No, 3D lands. You're killing me. Yeah, so getting rid of this this black source whenever I didn't have another one. Not so smart. That's okay. We don't need it like this turn, you know, like they they can attack for four next turn. It's not the the biggest attack ever or anything like that. Hmm. Certainly considering just cycling with Sarkin and then so I, I could basically turn this into gain three or sorry gain four discard a card draw a card but that's the case what am I discarding the, the lava coil the steam vents I'll just cast this lava coil casting the lava coil will look bad if our opponent draws Tristani interesting Interesting. Um, I don't believe my opponent has Hero Precinct 1. No, it's not a starter deck. They just have... That card. For some reason. So now I can't coil this Luxodon. That Luxodon was a good draw. So it doesn't die to coil doesn't die to set. Yeah, as far as uh budget recommendations for arena, I think mono blue. Is is definitely a good deck. Oh, I should play Sark in there too. I could have played Sark in there too. I should I should have played Sark in. Sorry, I was thinking about that. I should I should have played Sark in and, and added two mana and then played Bolas. How am I dealing with this 5-5? Five, five? 
Anyway, besides that, like, is it Drake's? Is a good budget deck? Yeah, you just need the the eight dual lands for rares, and you know you can probably get away with not having all of them as well. Playing some Gilgates. This is going to be a problem. I don't have cast down don't in my deck right my now. Methods. Okay, that can block it. Yeah, our, our opponent discarded Moment of Triumph. Wow. Alright, we're dead. Bolus costs seven mana to transform. We have five mana. So, yeah. Alright, three and two. I didn't think we were going to be losing that match. But we did. The, our opponent drew really well there with the Luxodons. Uh, perfect threat to not die to Ritual of Soot. Draw on both of those, then draw on the Tribunal. Even just, like, that moment of triumph honestly helped out our opponent quite a bit of us taking more damage there from, you know, we took another four damage from that, uh, from the Night of Autumn. Hmm. Sarkin does not add mana towards Flipping Bolas. Sarkin can only add mana to cast the spells. So, kind of a disappointing end to the deck, but still pretty strong showing overall. niv of course, was amazing. Dragon's Horde wasn't spectacular. Neither was Sarkin really too much, but... I like those cards, though. I like how they can get niv Mizzet out early. It's pretty disappointing with Dive Down, for the most part. We did get to use it, of course, that last turn to save a Bolas, and I think we might have used it before, but overall, I'm not sure if it needs to be a two of. And I did, I did have, yeah, we misplayed by sending the land to the graveyard. Just throughout, throughout our different losses, I had some a few different misplays that would have probably helped us there, um, in general, but. Okay, so that's Grixis Dragons, though. Uh, fun deck to play, and I think I think with like some tighter play, some different decisions, we could have turned around a good amount of our losses. There were like little things that uh, little decisions I made that ended up costing us in a lot of our losses, which happens for sure. All right, so if you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.